Hi all, uh, here's a very quick tutorial on how you can integrate custom authentication with Node-RED. So here we'll be bypassing the standard uh, Node-RED authentication and replacing it with MySQL uh, database. So here, whatever you enter in username and password, it'll actually go to a MySQL database and validate those credentials and log the user in if the credentials are valid. Uh, so for this, you're going to need a uh, MySQL server. I've already got one in place. I have a database called FMG and my table name is test user. And I have a one user with a username Ashish and a hashed password. We'll talk about the hashing part uh, in a minute. But this is what my uh, SQL database looks like. I also have a Node-RED uh, standard version running as a Docker container. Uh, so these are the two things that you require uh, to make this work. Now coming on to the changes uh, that uh, you need to do to make this work. So first you need a file, uh, I've called it test.js and it resides in my Node-RED uh, home folder and it sits uh, on the, under the same path where uh, settings.js is which is the Node-RED uh, settings file. So in test.js, we have MySQL uh, defined and we're using MySQL Node.js uh, library, also using crypto for uh, AES-256 encryption. So here I'm just calling uh, uh, my MySQL database and this, these are the two methods that uh, Node-RED supports for authentication. I'm actually bypassing the user's method but if you want, you can also check for a username before you check for a password as well. So in authenticate function, I'm actually first encrypting the password. So my encrypt function gets called and then whatever the password that the user provides uh, that gets encrypted to an uh, encrypted with an AES-256 encryption and I, I get an encrypted string. And that, that's the string, uh, string that I have in the database. So uh, once I have that encrypted password, I just uh, check the database for that username and that encrypted password. And if the user is valid, uh, the user is resolved. If it's not valid, then resolve none. That means uh, the login UI throws an error that the user does not exist. So once you have this file in place, you'll have to go to settings.js. And here, uh, there are only two things that you need to uh, you need to do is first is include that file. I call it test, and you can call it custom auth or whatever you feel like. But here, I have a, a variable called custom auth, which is accessing the file test. And in my admin auth, which is again a standard variable in Node-RED settings file, so we are assigning that variable to this custom auth uh, file, which is our custom authentication file. And as you can see, I've commented out the standard uh, authentication that Node-RED uses, and we are using our own custom authentication. Pretty quick, pretty simple. So now if we go back to our Node-RED, so if I enter my username and if I random password, it'll say login failed because uh, the password does not exist based on the database. So if I add my actual password, it, it logs me in. Now, the good thing about is, uh, good thing about this is you can have multiple users uh, with different permissions. So if you add more users here, give them different permissions, you can actually uh, write your own custom authentication rule uh, to log those users in with certain permission uh, that those users uh, users have. Similarly, you can also uh, update this uh, update the uh, authentication code to use Influx or uh, MS SQL, or if you're hitting an HTTP API, uh, you can do all of that here as well. So this code is available uh, on my GitHub repo. Uh, make sure to check the uh, link in the description below. Uh, I hope this helped. Thank you.